Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Woki, and I'm back with some more Pokemon Nuzlocke. We're in a tower of some kind. I'm looking to get a radio? Hello? Okay. I mean, you are being attacked by Team Rocket, so... Don't blame ya. Hello. So yeah, that's today's video. We're gonna continue to fight Team Rocket. Okay. Hello, Jigglypuff. Jigglypuff, trying to stay strong in these tough times. How boring. <laughs> Alright. Keep me amused. Ooh, hello. I've said that to every single female <laughs> rocket grunt, I think. Charabuck! I put Doc in the front because Doc needs to be leveled up. Look at Doc. Thinking he grown. Alright, get this though. Come out and completely wreck this Arbuck. Uh-oh. Okay, thank god. Bite was very bad. Um, because it's not type effective. So if he keeps doing shit like that, where he keeps flinching me, there's actually a good chance of Kid Fisto dying. Oh, you're annoying. Why is there so much flinch? Bite doesn't have a high flinch market, and yet this stupid CPU. I've been flinched more times in this run. Hmm. Than any other than any other Pokemon game from Bite. If you flinch me again, I swear to God, pop pop on his mouth. Six. That should be enough against type effective. Thank you. Leave my presence, Snake. I mean, not as good as Snake, because we all know the true Snake. Yeah, baby. Doc getting them levels. Who are you? Who am I? I'm I'm Wookie. Nice to meet you. I'm going back to the heal ones. Sorry, ma'am. I'll come back to save you later. Ignore me. I need to go to the free healthcare. Get fixed up. Hello, ma'am. Can I please have heals? No one else in here trying to take down Team Rocket? Not you, boy on Game Boy? Not you, Nurse Joy? Not you... Uh, Fat Man, I believe, who's down there at the bottom. Yeah, Fat Man doesn't want none. Fat Man can get fire right now. F Fat Man need to get ready for a hike. Alright, I apologize, Fat Man. I had no idea that you were under such stress. I'll, I'll, I'll take hand. I'll, t I'll handle it. Hello, sir. The Exploiters of Pokemon. We love being evil. Scared? Nah, dude. You've never succeeded in anything. It doesn't help that future games have, like, Team Rocket dudes who are, like, not Team Rocket dudes, but have dudes who are, like, suicidal to the point of, like, we want to fulfill our dumbass vision of the world. And it's like, come on, you're nothing compared to them. It's just a bunch of rad tatas, so Kid Fisto's got this. Ugh. I mean, pop pop on. Hyperfang. Hyperfang, I would have kept Doc in if I didn't know for a fact that- Ooh! Pop Pop! It's a big Pop Pop. If I didn't know for a fact all these Raditz had, had uh, Hyperfang, I would immediately kill him in one shot. If given the chance. Hmm. Hello, Ratata. Let's use Magnitude. I have nine levels- I have ten levels on you. A six Pop Pop should be perfectly enough. And I was right. Dang, man. Why are you all so underleveled? Maybe I'm overleveled. No, that's not true, because I almost got completely one-shot by a Jinx <laughs> in the last gym. Pop up! So it's really more like, um, they're waiting to give me harder dudes, I guess. Mm, 69, nice. Kefisto, he knows what's up. He's got his hands up in the air, saying, Talk to me like you just don't care. Let's see, seven pop pop. Easy kill. Easy kill, easy life. And now Doc's level 18. Good job, Doc. You did nothing in that fight. And it's still going, because this man was rocking. I'm gonna start just throwing rocks at your rats, bro. I'm tired of dealing with them. Just throw some rocks, Kid Fisto. Bury them. 
thank you. Ooh, Fisto's actually almost at uh, another level. You think you're a hero? <laughs> well, you're not. So you save everyone. Hey, hey! Keep out of my way. I would try and do the crusty laugh, but it's actually very hard to do on your voice. Rock run. You sent out Zubaz. Level 26 Zubat, okay. Interesting. May I interest you in Kid Fisto? Number one super guy. Not to be confused with Hong Kong Fui. The dog with uh, questionable. Did you know that the guy who voiced um, Hong Kong Fui was the black guy in The Shining? <laughs> Uh, well, first of all, you have to see The Shining, but in The Shining, there's uh, the guy, the black guy that um, the little boy talks to, who, sh who, who he develops sh The Shining with, um, is the, he he did a voice, he did the voice for Hong Kong Fui. And it's really funny, because in uh, The Shining, he does a, what's up, doc? So it's, uh, it's Hong Kong Fui doing a Bugs Bunny impression, which is silly. It's my kind of silly. There you go. It's been inside the actor studio with Wokey. So talk to you about important shit like Hong Kong Fui. And that horse who was also I think a cowboy, who I constantly forget the name of. I think his like little buddy was called Sancho Pancho. Because his it's like a play on Sancho Panzo from uh, Don Quixote. But I can't remember Quick Draw McGraw. Boom, got it. There's Quick Draw McGraw, there's um, Huckleberry Hound, uh, that guy who looks like a low rent um, Pink Panther, because he's also a Pink Panther. Um, I can't remember his name for the life of me. There's that dog who, I think his name is Muttley, but I don't think that's accurate. The one who's like, hey, my son. Hey, old man. Hey, Pop, you're doing real good. Hey, yo, let me tell you, single father. And that's, that was the entire bit. Like, I don't know. Well, to be fair, all of the old Hanna-Barbera characters are based off of um, more popular old TV shows. Like, the Flintstone space is based off of the Honeymooners. I was about to have Doc fight this Grimer, but I remembered at the last second to switch the Fisto. Um, yeah, the Flintstones were the Honeymooners, which is why, like, uh... I think the hunt. I think like the the people from the honeymooners tried to sue um, Flintstones, um, pop pop. But then like I want to say the judge said like the Flintstones has been on the air for like eight years. It's kind of too late, bro. I mean the judge didn't say bro, but he said sir. You can't sue Fred Flintstone, and they didn't. Um, pop pop. Of course, there's also Yogi Bear and Boo-Boo uh, Boo Bear. Hey, Boo-Boo. I mean, I don't think Boo-Boo's last name is Bear. Because then his name would be Boo-Boo Bear. Mm. I know Yogi Bear is named after the um, baseball player Yogi Bear. Muck, whoa. you looking disgusting, bro. Oh, Tiny Pop-Pop. That might... That seems disrespectful, Kid Fisto. This is a... Yeah, you're going to need more. I mean, if he had actually used a move other than Harden, he would have, he might have actually had a chance of surviving. Next, wow. I mean, literally, that was the most unlucky shit because that means guaranteed that he's gonna survive. Oh, never mind. This muck is a piece of shit. You're right, Kid Fisto. He did not deserve more than five until the end, <laughs> when it seemed clear you were gonna win regardless. Um, God, what other Anna Barbera characters can I remember? The Funky Phantom, uh, Captain Caveman. Captain Caveman is definitely Hanna Barbera. If you don't know, does anyone know what the hell I'm talking about? Or does this just sound like I'm speaking like about a weird anime that no one watches? Because that's what it feels like to me right now. <laughs> Hello, Science Man. Uh huh. I agree. It's a terrible thing. Doc, do you have any good moves? You have Bubble. I'm gonna give you surf real quick. Hold up, homie. I'm gonna give you the ability to surf. 
See, now, uh, Hanna-Barbera was the original Avengers. I say, knowing full fact <laughs> that the Avengers were around before. <laughs> Well, but I mean in t TV side, because the comics had Avengers, but Hanna-Barbera had the Laugh Olympics, where they brought up all your favorite characters, Devil Dash Lee or something from Wacky Racers, for example, and his dog. I think the dog, you know, Muttley is the name of that guy's dog. Um, of Snively Whiplash, I believe is his name. Dudley Do-Right, that's another guy. Yeah. Again, Hanna-Barbera had a lot of characters and not a lot of them are good. They just have a lot of them. Pop, pop. Um, but whatever, I have an extreme fascina fascination with them. They also reused a lot of animation. I cannot believe I've gone this far without mentioning Scooby-Doo, the greatest Hanna-Barbera creation. Uh, mm, yes, I'm going to actually make my plant my, um, gonna plant my flag and say Scooby-Doo is better pop pop than the Flintstones. And let me tell you why. Let me start with you. First of all, name characters from the Flintstones other than the Flintstones. <laughs> so you got, uh, and who are the main cast of characters? So it's six of them. You got, um, uh, you got Fred Flintstone, Wilma Flintstone, Pebbles, uh, Pe I guess Pebble Flintstone, I guess at that point. Uh, Pebble Flintstone, you got, um, fuck, Barney Rubble, uh, Betty Rubble, and then you have Bam Bam. Why do the, why do the kids not share the last name of their, never mind. Um, so you got those six characters, but then name anyone else. Chances are you remember the name of the boss. I sure as fuck don't remember the name of the boss from... It's Mr. Stone. The, <laughs> the, the boss from the Flintstones. So that's seven characters right there. Boom. Now, go with Scooby-Doo. You got Scooby-Doo, Fred Jones, uh, Shaggy, who doesn't, I think, have a last name. You got uh, Velma, Daphne, Daphne Blake. Velma definitely has a last name. Shaggy Rogers is the last name of Shaggy. You got Scooby-Doo. You got Scrappy-Doo. You got uh, Vincent Van Gogh, who showed up for the 12 Ghosts of Scooby-Doo. Uh, you got Dum Dum doo the dumbass cousin of Scooby-Doo. You got... Uh, a whole b plethora of like villains as well. You remember all of those before you remember. I dare you to remember any other any other Flintstone characters that I mentioned besides the seven. You can't, can you? No, you can't. It's just not possible. Not to say that the Flintstones isn't funny. Flintstones is funny, but it doesn't compare to like uh, the kind of extremely easy mystery. You got Old Man Jenkins. He's a, the only reason people don't trust old white men anymore is because of Scooby-Doo. You don't trust them anymore because Scooby-Doo has taught you that you can't trust old white people anymore. Because they're going to try and like dress up as like a funky ghost and steal all the land somehow. Uh, I'm going to continue this conversation in the next episode. <laughs> so join me in the next one, won't you?